How do you avoid the biggest trap in a pretrial deposition, in a medical malpractice case, in an accident case, or in a wrongful death case? You wanna know the answer? Come join me for a walk on the beach as I share with you the answer to that question. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury attorney. The number one biggest trap that they are going to lay for you is to trap you in a lie, to show that you are inconsistent, to show that you are being less than credible. Why? Why would they do that? Because the goal of this deposition is not for you to tell them every single event, every single minute detail of everything that happened in your particular case. That is not the purpose of a deposition. The real purpose of a deposition, and nobody shares this with you, and I don't know why, the real purpose of a deposition is to answer the defense attorney's questions. That's what you are there to do. All right. So now one of the things that they are going to do is to ask you questions about what you remember. Hey, do you remember conversations? Do you remember making a complaint to the doctor? Do you remember doing the following things? Now, either you do remember or you don't remember. But one of the key things that the defense attorney will try and do is to get you to answer questions that is different from information contained in your medical record. When you first came to the doctor, for example, you did not give him sufficient information so he could make a proper evaluation and make an educated decision about what to do next for you because you failed to disclose certain critical information. Say during your deposition, the defense attorney says, hey, Mr. Jones, when you first came to Dr. Gonzalez, did you tell him that you had diabetes? Well, yes, I did. Did you tell him you had hypertension? Yes, I did. Did you tell him you had these other medical problems? Yes, I did. Now, it may be in this example that you did not tell him that information or it was not recorded by anybody. And in that instance, what has he done? What he's done is now sets up questions of fact. Now there's a clear credibility issue. Is the doctor more believable? Are you, the patient, more believable about what exactly you complained of? His goal is to try and understand what you remember. And now if you are at the deposition and you are saying, yes, of course I told him. Yes, of course I told him about this condition. Of course, why would I hide anything? I have to tell him about all this. And if you are believable and your story sounds credible, now when it comes time to evaluating who is more believable, ultimately a jury will have to make that decision. But now when you are done with your questioning by the defense attorney, he has to go prepare a report and send it off to the doctor's insurance company. And one of the things he reports on is whether or not he believes that you, as a witness, are credible. And why is that significant? It's significant because he knows that if your case goes to trial a year or two down the road, a jury will have to be evaluating whether or not your answers are believable. And if your answers and your demeanor are more believable and more credible than the doctor whom you have sued, now they have a problem because now they may be worried about what the jury may think and what the jury may do because you are more believable than the doctor. And if this involves a key issue about improper care that was rendered to you on that particular date, now it becomes even more critical because if the doctor did not ask about that information or if he asked and simply did not record it, now it makes your answers and your reasoning much more believable than the doctor's. So the best way to avoid this type of trap is to be prepared. To be prepared before the deposition about the details of your case. And you might be thinking, wait a second, that sounds so simple, it sounds so easy. How am I going to be prepared? The answer is your attorney is going to prepare you for your questioning. So you might be asking, how is it that you get prepared for your deposition? Will the attorney tell you what to say? The answer is no, he's not going to tell you what to say. He will tell you to be truthful, 100% truthful. And if you don't remember the answer, you tell the attorney, I'm sorry, I don't remember. As part of your preparation for your deposition, your attorney will have your medical records and he's not going to ask you to review them. He's definitely not going to tell you to take them home and study them. He will go through with you the types of questions that you are going to be asked during your deposition. And this way you will know exactly, and in fact, your attorney will also help refresh your memory about certain events that occurred based upon the records that he already has, based upon information that he has, and now this will help jog your memory so that now when you are questioned by the defense attorney to ask you questions, 
you will have a better understanding of what the defense is looking for. The best way to go ahead and prevent you from getting into this trap is to be prepared, to have your attorney refresh your memory and go through the medical records with you to make you understand that your goal is to simply tell the truth. And if you do that, you should have no problem at all. So why do I share this information with you? I share it with you just to give you a sense of what really happens in these medical malpractice cases in New York. You and I recognize you're likely watching this because you have questions or concerns about your own matter. Well, if your matter did happen in New York and you have not yet started a lawsuit but are thinking of doing so and still have questions that need to be answered, what I invite you to do is pick up the phone and call me. You know I answer questions like yours every single day and I'd love to chat with you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a fantastic day.